It's day two of the uh, 16 BRICS summit taking place here in Kazan, Russia, where uh, different heads of state and governments actually uh, participated and handed over the speech. As far as this year's summit is concerned, which uh, focuses on the theme, um, strengthening multilateralism for just a global development and security. It's worth noting that the president of the People's Republic of China highlighted uh, the uh, important need for the members of uh, the BRICS uh, nations to be able to invest in education and artificial intelligence in that light the uh, president Xi Jinping uh, cited uh, that in the next five years his government was going to um, open some 10 centers uh, in the sector of uh, digital education across uh, uh, member uh, countries we should equally note that on the silence of the summit these leaders equally highlighted uh, the need uh, for them to be able to use uh, their local currencies in terms of trade we should recall that uh, the president of the new development bank Dima Rousseff um, during her speech uh, pinpointed uh, the need uh, for uh, BRICS member countries to be able uh, to have an alternative uh, source of payment while interacting in trade while calling on a reform in the World Trade Organization as well as the United uh, United Nations Security Council. On the silence of this summit we should equally uh, note uh, that uh, these uh, leaders collectively like was the case of the South African President uh, Cyril Ramaphosa and the Egyptian President uh, Abdel Fattah el-Sisi who cited uh, the need for African leaders and the uh, leaders on the bloc to be able to to work collectively for them to be able to end all hostilities happening around the globe, notably the war in Gaza and the Middle East crisis. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, for you Media Africa was able to extend its microphone uh, to an Indian a journalist present here at the uh, Kazan summit and here is what he had to say. Okay, so uh, given India is a member of the BRICS and you know the bloc has been uh, growing in recent years. Uh, what's your session as far as this year's the chosen theme is concerned, uh, given its focus on strengthening multilateralism in for for just um, global development and security? Uh, actually, if you see, uh, uh, this BRICS grouping is a is a grouping of fastest growing economies. Exactly. Uh, so is India. India is growing very fast economically uh, uh, and uh, in terms of development in terms of uh, uh, security matters. In all these fairs, India is doing very well uh, in the last uh, uh, 10 years, uh, last 15 years, uh, 11 years. Exactly. So uh, India has a responsibility being uh, uh, fastest developing uh, economy. So India is fulfilling its uh, responsibility uh, world over, wherever uh, it is needed, with be it uh, security concerns, be it it, uh, development uh, issues, be it uh, hunger issues, India has been fulfilling its uh, responsibilities and no wonder that uh, uh, our ancient culture teaches us uh, uh, a line uh, which says, which goes like Vasudev Kutumbakam, uh, means the whole world is one family. So if one family member is suffering from hunger or from uh, any issue, the other family member has a responsibility to take care of that. So I think India is uh, taking care of that wonderfully. Okay, looking, you highlighted the aspect of cultural heritage, uh, given uh, India's rich uh, cultural diversity and the role it plays within the BRICS block. How can it leverage some of these uh, particularities or some of these uh, riches for the development or for the development of the block? Uh, I didn't get your question, I'm sorry. So I was asking that with the uh, cultural heritage that uh, India possesses, how can it leverage this f to further enhance or to further develop the bloc? See, India uh, has very good bilateral relations uh, with almost all the countries over the world. Uh, uh, as you see, uh, our Prime Minister met uh, uh, President Putin yesterday. Yes. And uh, today he's meeting the Chinese President. Yesterday he also met uh, with Iranian president. Yes. And uh, India is, is, is a place uh, where all religions, all colors, all kinds of humanity, they exist. We have different geographical uh, positions, exactly. uh, places. Uh, we enjoy summer, we enjoy winters, we enjoy uh, pleasant weather also. Same way, uh, India is a garden uh, with different kinds of uh, flowers and all, all flowers are uh, blossoming. Uh, 
लाइक आई सेड वसुधैव कुटुम्बकम मंत्रा लाइक वी ऑर्गेनाइज जी ट्वेंटी लास्ट ईयर एंड दिस वॉज दी थीम फॉर दी फॉर दी जी ट्वेंटी सो एज फार एज योर क्वेश्चन इज कंसर्न हाउ कैन वी लेवरेज India is uh, supporting many countries in uh, in terms of humanitarian aid. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's working in Afghanistan, it's working in Nepal, it's working in uh, Sri Lanka, and uh, India had play was playing a very uh, good role in uh, rebuilding of Afghanistan. And and uh, and another role India is picking up is now is fast emerging as a peacemaker. Mm-hmm. Uh, India is known uh, to be a peace lover country uh, for centuries now it is assuming a role of a peacemaker yes. yesterday prime minister modi offered uh, to help uh, uh, in finding out a solution to uh, russia ukraine crisis uh, with, with the, in his talks with the uh, iranian president also uh, our prime minister offered to help uh, uh, ease the situation in the west asia everybody knows what is happening in west asia Uh, uh, our prime minister uh, very well said that uh, war uh, doesn't bring solutions exactly and the solutions come only through dialogue and through uh, mutual understanding and uh, understanding of each other's position okay in uh, just one last question um last year we saw the addition of all the countries into the black do you see that happening this year and how is that going to go a long way in uh, amplifying the role that the brics is trying to uh, create as far as uh, the at, at the global stage is concerned the uh, brics uh, group uh, is fast expanding exactly and many countries are applying uh, for the membership they are uh, uh, more than eager to join this grouping and uh, uh, these countries are not applying just for the sake of it they know that if they join this grouping they are going to benefit exactly maybe it is my personal opinion uh, maybe uh, some of them are uh, not happy with the way uh, things are going uh, internationally so they are looking up uh, to this grouping uh, which is brics and i'm sure it is going to be a very very powerful uh, block and uh, see wherever there is an international conference and brick countries are there uh, they meet and they discuss and they don't wait for a formal summit to happen they meet informally also because uh, they don't want to uh, to waste time in formalities they mean business they're very very concerned uh, for human life for security of the people for hungry people so whatever platform whether be is seo be is g20 be is g7 be is brics so this uh, uh, these countries are very very concerned and uh, i can only hope that uh, things will be better we look forward to that thank you so much for your time thank you but given we are the brics summit um you are notably from serbia you are resident in russia Now um from a different perspective how did you or what uh, did you retain from uh, this day 2 of the uh, 16 brick summit on 16 brick summit first time uh, is uh, presented uh, Serbia uh, our uh, country our government represented uh, four ministers including uh, deputy prime minister Alexander Vulin and uh, minister of defense uh, Bratislav Gašić and the now uh, in Serbia it's uh, starting to improve uh, political and economical uh, cooperation with countries of BRICS uh, for example uh, many ca- uh, two powerful countries esta- who established BRICS uh, Russia and uh, Republic Republic of China had excellent relationship with uh, Serbia very good economical economical uh, economical uh, cooperation and uh, people's republic of china is the biggest investment in serbia uh, one year ago uh, people's republic of china start the biggest investor uh, exceed all countries of the european union and 
many people, many countries from the West annoyed by uh, this and they uh, starting to make anti-Russian and eh? now it's uh, actually anti-Russian uh, narrative is old but uh, they start, start to enforce anti-Chinese narrative. Okay, so uh, given from Serbia, we saw the um, presence of the uh, New Development Bank, uh, Dilma Rousseff, that uh, she derped the uh, global currency of exchange, that is the dollar, as a, a currency of destruction. But nonetheless, we recall that uh, many of the leaders that were speaking during this uh, uh, second day of the summit highlighted that the BRICS is open to uh, using the dollar, but they will equally acknowledge the fact that it's equally going to be imperative for them to use the local currencies. So, with this latest developments, how do you receive the news? Uh, for our country, from Serbia, we still not listen enough uh, about uh, cooperation, uh, uh, future cooperation, about the BRICS, and uh, uh, I speaking firstly about our country and I hope so that uh, representative of our Serbian delegation could explain the people why for us is useful to exactly. continue to continue cooperation uh, with uh, BRICS, uh, the BRICS Member Association countries. members countries and uh, except a partial uh, cooperation with uh, members country of BRICS maybe like uh, BRICS like United organization and uh, it's something new we need uh, more information but I will tell that uh, people in Serbia accepted uh, BRICS uh, as uh, something uh, positive because BRICS uh, countries uh, not uh, try to uh, to uh, inside political internal political question not yeah. uh, not uh, provocating crisis, not uh, color revolution, and uh, people could accept uh, easy, quite easy BRICS, but we, from the BRICS we are needing some additional information. Yeah, you mentioned that uh, so far you can tell if Serbia will be um, accepted into the block this year, but aside that, with all the stakes involved, when you look at the uh, the economic growth, or you look at the economic uh, projections of the BRICS so far um, in the past 15 years, would you think, or where can you place the block in, say, some five years or ten years from now? Uh, it's, it's, it depends how BRICS developed. Uh, I spoke today with some uh, colleagues from uh, India, and they give me an interesting opinion that. Uh, India, Russia, China, Brazil, yeah. uh, South Africa, it's countries on uh, different parties of the parts of the world, different culture, different uh, political system. And it needs a long, long time to make uh, some uh, agreements, understanding and everything. Uh, a point, uh, these Indian experts, which I spoke today, uh, BRICS succeeded and they accepted uh, expected, expected that uh, in the uh, future uh, five or ten years, uh, dozens countries, more, forty countries maybe, uh, join BRICS, uh, BRICS organization. Serbia first time uh, advi uh, advi uh, uh, agreed, uh, called to come on uh, this, uh, this. Uh, this uh, did this meeting and uh, and uh, I think it will be positive and uh, Serbia should uh, continue uh, continue with negotiations yes negotiations and uh, maybe f further steps to join this organization okay we look forward to that um, hopefully by tomorrow we'll be able to know which uh, countries will be added into the block, uh, like uh, the uh, president, or one of the presidents was uh, stating uh, during the uh, during the address, they highlighted that it was imperative for more countries uh, to join the block so it can be able to expand uh, more, and that is going to boost development within the uh, member states. Thank you so much, Igor, for your time on uh, for you Media Africa. Thank you too. I uh, very uh, like African people, our country Yugoslavia and President Tito 
he had an excellent relationship with uh, African countries. Many African students uh, studied in Belgrade, and I was uh, surprised, uh, as in uh, still uh, President Tito remembered in uh, Central African Republic and the Republic of uh, Mali and uh, honored uh, him uh, also. And uh, I always uh, very glad to speak with uh, African media. Thank you so much. Welcome.